what have we learned since 2012? So, so it's an interesting question because um, we learned a lot on our run-up to the position statement in, uh, in March of 2012. We actually learned that we needed the tech center deeply and, and over time. And so that's why we're celebrating our fifth anniversary at the same time. It's, it's exciting to think about. We really recognized that there was a gap between what teachers' understanding of new media was and what we were now defining as uh, best practice. And we needed who, who better than Erickson Institute to, to bridge that gap. So that, that I think, was a big part of, um, of the whole thing leading up to then. But new medias like iPads and new phones, which now in 2017 just celebrated its 10th anniversary, so isn't it interesting, fives and tens, um, were coming at us rapidly. So what have we learned? What we, what we knew at the time um, was that we didn't know enough, but we also knew a lot. And we gathered the leading media, children's media researchers in the country for a symposium in Washington and asked them, that, what do we know? What, what can we say is the settled science? What, we, what can we stop fussing about and just get on with it? And, and they know a lot about television. We know a lot about television. We didn't know much of anything about these new devices. And these leading researchers weren't sure that early in the game whether what we learned on television was gonna translate into what was happening um, on an iPad. They knew it could help in terms of app design and content. They didn't know in terms of, of app use. So we've learned a lot, um, I think, from teachers. We've, we've talked a lot to people on the ground who are using these um, tools and new media about how they're integrating technology. We've learned a lot about how people are using smartphones and other technology to engage with families better. I think we, I think we know what we're doing more but we're still looking for that evidence. And, and I think in the absence of evidence, there'll always be caution um, in the field of early childhood that well, can you prove it? Can you show us what happens? So I, I think we still need that, but I also think that K Dr. Katie Pasiga's research that she just completed shows that it's, it's coming. We're, we're right at the academic research cycle where we're starting to get that evidence. And, and, and then I would charge us in the tech center and, and all of us who care about young kids in the digital age, we've got to pay attention to the findings. The findings may be different than we expected. So what are we going to do about that, right? So, but what we really, we've been asking for the evidence now, we've got to use it. Use it.